Hello and welcome to EasyLux. In this product video, we show you how to install the ceiling mounted presence detector PD C360i8 Plus and PD C360i24 Plus. Both devices have 360 degrees field of detection. They have different ranges, however. The PD C360i8 Plus has a range of 8 meters in diameter and the PDC 360i24 Plus has a range of 24 meters in diameter when installed at the recommended installation height of 2.5 to 3 meters. EasyLux ceiling mounted presence detectors are suitable for use in rooms that benefit from natural daylight, such as offices and meeting rooms. We generally recommend installing these products in the middle of a room but the exact position ultimately depends on the characteristics of the room. To ensure that the presence detectors work effectively, it is important that the detector has an unobstructed view of employees and their workplace. Dependent on the presence of people, channel 1 of the detector serves to control the lighting level. Adjustments can be made for time delay, for short impulse and test functions, and for the set value of the lighting level. The ceiling mounted presence detector also has a motion controlled heating, ventilation and air conditioning switch contact, HVAC, which can be used, for example, for the time delay for heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Please note that the presence detectors may be installed only by authorised personnel in compliance with the installation regulations and standards applicable in the country of use. During the installation process, the five safety rules must be observed. Please note that the installation described in this video exclusively applies to the presence detectors identified by the article number shown on the screen. There are three possible ways available to install the detectors. For recessed mounting in the ceiling, the ceiling presence detector can be installed using a standard recessed electrical box. For surface mounting, a surface mounting box is required. This accessory can be ordered separately from our product catalogue. Recessed can housings for in ceiling mounting can also be found in our product catalogue. First, screw the spring assembly to the power supply unit. Then feed the cable through the cable gasket and connect it to the spring assembly. By gently pressing it, the power supply unit can be inserted into the recessed can housing. Finally, depress the springs and insert the can into the ceiling. The operating voltage of the ceiling mounted presence detector is 230 volts AC. Terminal clamp L for line voltage. Terminal clamp L dash for the switched output. Terminal clamp N for neutral Y connection. Terminal clamp S makes it possible to connect a push button. Terminal clamps D1 and D2 can be used for heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Terminal clamp P. Slave devices can be connected here to extend the field of detection. Please note that only up to a maximum number of 10 slave devices may be connected to one master device. Total length of cable may not exceed 100 meters in length. Once you have wired the power section, secure it using two screws. Before securing the sensor section to the power section, ensure that the dip switches have been pre-configured for the relevant application. If the first dip switch points towards the remote control symbol, parameters can only be configured remotely. For this reason, settings cannot be modified via potentiometers. If the switch points towards the screwdriver symbol, sabotage protection is active. In this case, settings cannot be configured via remote control. 
the second dip switch allows you to select between the fully automatic and semi-automatic lighting control modes. If semi-automatic mode is active, the third dip switch can be used to configure whether the user can use the button to only switch on the lighting or to switch the light on and off. The sensitivity of the detector can be modified using the fourth dip switch, S-min, for optional masking of interference sources such as fans and heating elements. Once the sensor unit is attached, the power can be connected again. The initialization phase now begins. It lasts approximately 25 seconds. The lighting is turned on during this time. As a visual signal of the initialization phase, all the LEDs on the ceiling mounted presence detector will flash blue twice, green once, and red once. As soon as the initialization phase is complete and the detector is in normal operation mode, the red LED flashes as soon as movement is detected within the field of detection. If the switch contact related to motion is active, the green LED flashes simultaneously. If the sensor has been switched to programming mode using the remote control, this is signalled by a blue LED. The ceiling mounted presence detectors are factory installed with a default program and thus immediately ready for use in full automatic mode. The control potentiometer for the lighting set value is 400 lux. The potentiometer for time delay is set for approximately 5 minutes. The default setting for time delay for switching contact related to motion is approximately 60 minutes. By turning the corresponding control potentiometer, it's possible to change the range of parameters as needed. To achieve the most precise parameter settings, we recommend the remote control Mobile PDI MDI or the Mobile PDI MDI Universal. In case certain areas of the room should not be detected by the sensor, a lens mask can be used to mask individual areas of detection. This is very useful in order to mask areas of interference such as heaters or fans. Cut the lens mask along the designated line as desired. Then place the lens mask into the cover plate and secure it with a half turn. The detector is now ready for operation. Visit us at easylux.com for further information about our products.